Like I was saying. <laughs> blah 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 blah. <laughs> blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> If you needed a break, you could take a break. If you needed to use your cell phone or go on the computer, just just relax. And uh, it's just a very different uh, workplace from a high school. Yeah. What you what you're doing right now? Did it kind of evolve? Start? Did it kind of is the seed for that growth found for you here in school or what? Well, yeah, like a lot of things that I used to do as a kid, I I brought those skills here and a lot of people took interest in them, so it really motivated me to like be more than what I could be. Mm -hmm. So, for example, what what are you doing now? What? Well, like I started symmetrical designs and I've gone into full page designs, like very intricate, very intricate and very complicated pieces that I never thought I could actually pull off, but like I was taught that if I just put enough effort into something that I could, uh, I could be something more. Nice listening. <laughs> yeah, you to, can you tell us about how you uh, started the school here? What made you well, want to well, come I here? Came, I, uh, I was in Vancouver, so I moved back here, and I decided to go back to school at 28 years old. And that was us pivoting them right. Uh, it was great. I had a hard time. Uh, we all have our hard times, so, but I kept at it. I did a lot of homework, a lot of studying. And today, um, I'm happy where I'm at today. Grade 11. Though. What were your struggles in school, like at this particular uh, school? Me, it was my French. Your French? I had to do my French twice. The first time, I got 56%. Didn't pass. So the second time, I had to redo it. And I really enjoyed math because I was really good at it. Uh, English, I had a hard time spelling, writing, but Maggie really helped me a lot. She gave me a lot of her time. And I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed going back to school. But I worked hard for it. But when you work hard, you get what you want. We want to get the shots from coming out from the hallway. Everyone coming out. That's pretty crazy cool. <laughs> well, this school helped me achieve my goal uh, because I did not leave uh, the fact that I had a, a young uh, child at a young age, I didn't have the attitude where, okay, I'm just going to give up. I didn't. That's why when I received the pamphlet, I went back to Adult Dead and the school helped me achieve my goals by helping me achieve my high school diploma. Our trainer asked us for about two weeks to find a production name and for some reason, we couldn't find one until our trainer basically called this a little crew. But then at the moment, everyone looked at each other and said that our name will be that, and that's how it came to be a little crew production. At least we got one thing done, for sure. Any struggles that you had when you came to the school? 
Well, man, my struggles were difficult because I was a very unbalanced wild kid. So when I came here, I was all over the place. I never really went to class that much. And it, it took a lot of time and patience of the teachers to really like sit down with me and tell me, okay, we need to get this done. You know, you need this to continue your life. You know, I mean, it took a lot of hard work and a lot of years. So my struggle was just pretty much is, you know, actually listening to people. But it really sank in for me when, uh, when the teachers really sat down and helped me. Any uh, fond memories of this school that you can remember? Oh, man. To tell you the truth, there's so many. There's so many great ones with so many great people. But I would have to say my biggest one is when I got to guest host for the... Um, you guys always had assemblies. And I got to guest host for those. You know, so I always had the mic in my hand. I was always talking to big crowds of people. It was just something I learned love doing, and the school took advantage of that talent, and they let me use that talent to speak to the students. So it was quite, it was quite an experience for me. <laughs> I was right the time. No, <laughs> yeah. I was right. You just wanted to stand up to me all the time because you thought you were a tough guy. <laughs> I met a lot of people that I would not have met in high school. I hung out with a lot of people I would not have talked to in high school because of the atmosphere is different. The Darcy kids stayed with the Darcy kids. The Philly kids stayed with the Philly kids and the older kids stayed with the other kids. But we all, we all communicated to each other and it was a great atmosphere. We, there was barely any fights when I was here because everyone was so nice to each other. Can you tell us some of the struggles that you went through and some of the things that you would have to, you had to push aside and persevere through to finish? Well, when I was in my last semester, my grandmother died and uh, I didn't come to school for a week, but then I realized if I wanted to graduate, I had to come one of the main reasons were for you coming back to school and wanting to finish and get your diploma? Because I wanted to go to college and I wanted to get my life rolling and I felt like if I didn't come back to school I was going to be a nobody and I wanted to be a somebody. And I had to get through it and I did and I graduated. Have you had any struggles in the whole adult education? For sure, non-stop. It, every day was basically a battle. Uh, I hated school. Uh, I hated all the teachers. I hated the principal. I hated everyone at Adult Ed, except for the students and the smokers. <laughs> and um, like, what, what encouraged you? What made you come back to school once you dropped out of a regular high school? Uh, I guess the fact that Nobody in my family has their high school diploma. I was actually the first person to achieve, I guess, to a lot of people that minor goal. Tell us how adult education has allowed you to achieve success after graduation. Uh, I mean, I changed a lot of things. Um, they helped instill, my, like, especially Mona, like I got a lot done. She helped me to learn how to focus because uh, I guess I had like ADD or whatever, but I couldn't sit in class for more than like five minutes. So I don't know, she gave me a really good work ethic. Any personal advice uh, for people that have dropped out or are thinking of dropping out? Don't, don't drop out, just don't. It sucks, but push yourself through it. Uh, just don't give up, You're gonna, you will regret it. You will, just stay in school. After that weekend, we had four days left presentation. Tension rise, the crew was calling out to each other about everything to a point. We put that to, to pass and move on. Some realized that we did not have a script. Others just said we had a script that would contain four words. So our trainer knew we would not be able to meet our original version and came up with the idea that we turn this documentary into our struggle to make this to show our, our trials and error and how we made progress. Just like the graduates, they, they had struggles. They weren't genius when they came to Adelaide, nor when they came out, but they made progress and moved on a lot closer to their goal. Some quit, but came back because they knew it was the only way to forward to get it done, just like how we're getting it done. The thing I'm trying to say is never give up and reach for goals no matter the odds. And that's what we and they achieve.
the school is great, the teachers are great, everything is great. 